are we doing? I'm Andy, thanks for coming back and today we're going to have a look at a breeding project gone wrong basically. So sort of last year I think it was before Christmas you might remember um, Martin who was the male Caribbean Versa colour that I loaned from Amy over at Pet Rock and Roll. Um, I'll try and put the video up here if I remember it to do it like her. We had a couple of good parents and Martin went back on to Amy um, and everything was grand and my female Dave, you may remember she's called Dave, um, named after Batista the wrestler, <laughs> but that's another story. But anyway, she she sealed herself away. Um, now I wasn't sure whether she was going to molt or whether she was laying an egg sac. She was quite late into a molt cycle when this pairing took place. I think it was about 10 months. Um, so like I said, there was always that risk that she might molt out anyway. So she sealed herself away in a burrow. I seen I had nothing. I just kept watering. Anyway, a few months later, well, a few months passed. Um, I think this probably about four or five months. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was February, but I'll have to check the date, but I'll just show you that I uh, I got up and I looked at the tank to, to see this, which was um, an abandoned egg sac. So I was proper good over that, uh, mainly because I didn't know for certain that she had an egg sac. Now, the lesson that I've taken from it is that she, as you'll see in this enclosure in a minute, we're gonna do the rehousing of her. Um, but you'll see she was in a cork tube, which meant that I couldn't see in only from the top. Um, and once she sealed that top over, I didn't know what was going on in there. So, like I said, the lesson learned is that I will be using half rounds uh, against the glass so that I can see in and see what's going on for any females that appear in future. Um, like I said, I'll learn from that one because I do think that if I'd have been able to see this egg sac being there, I might have been able to pull it uh, at the right time or if it, I'd at least known it was there and I'd been able to take the appropriate steps, maybe not filling the water bowl and disturbing it so much and things like that. But anyway, I've waffled on for ages, so like I say, it all turned out a bit shit. Um, it was a good learning experience because I got as far as the parent. I mean, as me and Amy were chatting, um, we said, you know, we were lucky to be in a position to have a male and a female that were both set. So that's, you know, that was good to start with. We got a successful pairing, and as it turned out, we actually got an egg sac. It was just that I didn't know that the egg sac was there. Um, so, you know, so close yet so far. But anyway, I've gone on. This introduction has been ages, so I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna show you now me redoing it her enclosure basically, I'm just going to take her out, put her in a pot, redo her enclosure, set it up a bit differently and put her back in there, hope she molts out um, and then we'll try again with another male hopefully in a few months time, but yeah, I'll see you in a bit, it's all right. So yeah, here we have it, this is her enclosure and you see there's the little opening to a burrow, so you can see what I mean now about the whole thing being sealed off and uh, obviously being a cork tube didn't give me much chance to be able to look inside it like so it's a shame but as I've said lesson learned but you can see this is really thick Yep, so there we have our first glimpse of her, and she is a very pretty spider fair play. So you can see here, I was just testing her temperament more than anything. Bear in mind this girl hasn't eaten for quite a while. Absolutely beautiful spider. 
these are an awesome species to keep and the color changes as they go through their life cycle is amazing i've kept this one from a sling so this one was that awesome sort of metallic blue color that they are and it's come right through to eventually look like this see in all fairness considering that it's been such a long time since she's had any food and she's been through the whole stress of sort of laying an egg sack discarding an egg sack and whatnot and she she was in quite a good mood all things considered see and next bit we're just going to slowly take everything out of the enclosure and I am just literally going to revamp this the substrate I'm going to leave the substrate that's in there as is and just add a little bit more to it So yeah, you can see them webbing. It's like a full sock inside that, that cork back tube. So my plan is that I will carefully remove this and use this back in the enclosure somewhere as a means of hopefully helping us settle back into it pretty easily. a different way. thought I'd give a couple of cock hides either side some branches to walk on all that sort of stuff. if she wants to hide away she's got those cork tubes she's also got these branches she can get behind she's got some options if she wants to go for a stroll so I'm, I'm hoping that she'll she'll settle into this quite well and there's that sort of sock of webbing that I removed from the old cork bar I'm just going to drop that down behind this cock here and hopefully that will encourage it to set up a new sort of home in that, that particular cock back if not she's got plenty of other places so I don't mind either way it's just some gentle encouragement on my part really So as she nestles down there just to get a drink, 
And that was our enclosure rebuild for Dave, the Caribbean of Ersicola female. And all set to hopefully try pairing her again at some point in the future. Yeah, Dave looking as stunning as ever. And um, yeah, just a shame about that exact but it's what happens, you know, it's the, the eyes and nose of keeping spiders and especially when you're trying to breed them, it's the shit that comes as part of it, I suppose, really. But hopefully next time, now that she's got cork rounds rather than the, the full tube against the glass, so hopefully I'll be able to see what's going on, if anything. So that was Dave, the Carabiner Versicolor being rehoused uh, after the duff egg sack, which was unfortunate, but shit happens, eh? Anyway, I'm done. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Ta -ra.